Now let's look at multiplying polynomials. When we multiply mul polynomials, we'll use some of these rules that we've learned about exponents. So here we're just multiplying through and looks like we'll be adding exponents. So we'll have three times four times 0 0.5 and then x to the third times x to the eighth. Three times four times 0 0.5 is six and we'll have x to the three plus eight, which is x to the 11th. Remember the distribution rule. If we have a times b plus c, then we distribute the a and we get a b plus a c. That's what we're going to do here. So we're going to distribute this 13x squared to all four of the terms in our polynomial here. So we'll have 13x squared times 2x to the fourth plus 13x squared times x cubed plus 13x squared times negative 3x squared don't forget your negative there. And 13x squared times negative 1. Go through and multiply. 13 times 2 is 26. x squared times x to the 4th, that's x to the 2 plus 4 is 6. Then we have 13x to the 2 plus 3 is 5. 13 times negative 3 is negative 39. X to the 2 plus 2 is 4. And then negative 1 times 13x squared is just negative 13x squared. Now, when you're working these problems on your practice, I do require that you show your work. This step, I'm not going to count off if you skip it. But if you skip it and you get wrong here, then that's where you're going to run into problems. So would it hurt you to write this one? No, it wouldn't. Okay, remember foiling. So if you've got A plus B times C plus D, we have first... That's AC. Let me move that down a bit. Plus outer. That's AD. Plus inner. That's BC. Plus last. BD. So, first here would be 2x times negative 3x plus outer would be 2x times 5 plus inner negative 4 times negative 3x plus last negative 4 times 5. And again, it doesn't hurt you to write this out. I'm not going to absolutely require it, but it doesn't hurt. It might keep you from making a mistake. So we'd have negative 6x squared plus 10x plus, because we have a negative times a negative, 12x minus 20. This step is required. We're not quite done. Negative 6x squared, we need to combine our like terms. 
So 22x minus 20. So when you're showing your work, I want to see this. I want to see that. Okay, what about this one? Well, in this one, we're going to fold and distribute. So 2 times x minus 3 squared means 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 3. So we'll have 2 times. And then we start our foiling. So first, x times x is x squared. See, I'm going to skip that first step now. Outer. X times negative 3 is negative 3X. Inner, negative 3 times X is negative 3X. And last, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And then we'll distribute the 2. Well, no, before we do that, let's combine like terms and then distribute. So... Negative 3x times net or plus negative 3x is negative 6x. And now let's distribute the 2. So we'll have 2x squared minus 12x plus 18. Now let's try some division. Division works the same, it's the same idea, okay? We'll split everything up. All the terms on top will be divided by 5x. So we'll have 10x cubed divided by 5x minus, because that's a minus there, 5x squared divided by 5x plus 15x divided by 5x. Well, 10 divided by 5 is 2, and x to the 3 minus 1 is x squared. 5 divided by 5 is just 1. x to the 2 minus 1 is just 1, so we'll leave the 1 off. And 15 divided by 5 is 3, and the x's cancel out. Let's look at a little bit bigger one. So we have 48y to the fourth divided by negative 6y squared plus 16y cubed divided by, sorry about that, 6y squared minus 30y squared divided by negative 6y squared and negative or minus 24 divided by negative 6y squared. 48 divided by negative 6 is negative 8. And y to the 4 minus 2 is y squared. 16 divided by negative 6. Well, that doesn't divide evenly, so we'll make it a fraction. Negative 8 thirds. And y to the 3 minus 2 is y to the 1, so we'll have 8y over 3, or 8 thirds y, either way you want to write it. Then we've got negative 30 divided by negative 6, that's positive 5, and our y squareds go away. Negative 24 divided by negative 6 is 4, and we've got a y, positive 4, we've got a y squared left on the bottom.